Okay, so four years ago in the state of California, the legislature Democrats altered the state's recall laws to basically help a senator by slowing down the removal, uh, the removal process, the recall process, um, because he was trying to, he was in favor of increasing the gas tax. Now we have Gavin Newsom, who is currently getting recalled because you know 1.7 million signatures were approved out of like the two point something million signatures. And now they are passing a law that basically would speed up the time frame of pushing the election forward because Democrats want the election to be over as quick as possible. I, it's, it's fucking disgusting, bro. Imagine, just uh, for everyone watching this, imagine if Trump had gotten the election, pushed forward a, a month or two, and how fucking mad everyone should have been. If you live in California, you should be pissed right now. Because Newsom has absolutely failed the state during the coronavirus pandemic. Like, and also didn't follow the rules that he had set, such as, like, keeping his winery open or shutting down businesses, causing millions of people to move out and lose and become homeless. Fucking putting the mask mandate rules for getting people to eat inside. I mean, eat outside restaurants, which is it's totally fine. I don't have a problem with that. But then getting caught eating at a fucking high-end, uh, uh, I think it was the laundry restaurant. Or yeah, where he basically was. broke his own rules. Yeah. yeah, he's an absolute cuck. He needs to get the fuck out. Like, I don't like... And the, yeah, the point, the point we're trying to make is that this is not a Democrat-Republican issue, which is what everyone's making it out to be. They're saying, oh, well, do you want Republicans in power in California? The GOP's making a big deal. No, he's just a piece it's of like, shit. No, like, Newsom needs to be removed because of, like we said, COVID restrictions. He literally was a hypocrite with everything coming concerning COVID, right? Mm -hmm. The fact that he's trying to let 76,000 prisoners out of jail just, oh, because our, our prisons are overcrowded. So, you know, 26,000 of those violent offenders can get out for good behavior. And, you know, a bunch of others can get out because, you know, our prisons are overcrowded, right? The no bail, the zero bail, which basically allowed criminals who committed misdemeanors uh, to just get right out of jail without bail because who wants bail, right? On top of that, you know, he gave away $116 million when homelessness infrastructure education still need money so that way we can fix these issues and he just decides to give away 116 million dollars when he's now getting recalled right on top of that he's just overall been managing the state poorly with you know he wants to raise taxes he, there's a whole lot of stuff why Newsom should not be in office and right now saying that it's a democrat republican issue is not what is what should be getting portrayed it is a gavin newsom issue in the state of california and gavin newsom has been managing the state poorly this is just blatant corruption in your face imagine lawmakers changing the election four years ago to make it longer for a democratic person to get in from the dnc and then changing them again four years four years later to make it easier for a democratic uh, governor to stay in office it's just in your, like, there's no way around it. This is just, this is just in your face. Exactly. And if Newsom, I know Newsom's supposed to get, you know, uh, there's another election in 2022. But the whole point is, why do we want to continue to have a governor in our state who wants to let prisoners out of jail early? 76,000 inmates, right? 26,000 violent offenders, letting them out early because our prisons are overcrowded, right? Allowing basically uh, prisoners to say they identify as women and now change into women, women's prisons, right? Literally, th there's so many reasons why Newsom should not be in power in the state of California. Um, comment down below what you guys think about him uh, basically trying to move up the recall election to you know, help his chances of not getting voted out. And what do you think overall about Newsom's governing of the state of California? Don't actually just put some random BS, like actually have an educated response about why you want him to stay or why you don't want him to stay. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.